G'day folks, Mad Aussie here, and welcome to the Aussie Report. In this episode, we're going to take another look at the Northern Territory police officer who shot and killed a local tribesman uh, during an arrest. Um, This was posted yesterday, which was the 15th of November, 2022. It is msn.com website and is titled call for Northern Territory cops blood over teen shooting. Goes on to say, residents in a remote indigenous community where a Northern Territory policeman shot dead a teenager during bungled arrest say traditional payback needs to happen so it can heal. This is uh, Ned here who is the, uh, says the court system failed to deliver justice for the Walpiri community. Uh, Some of these words may be a little bit hard for me to pronounce. I'm not exactly sure on their pronunciation, but I'll give it a go. Um, This goes on to say, Kumanjayi Walker died after Constable Zachary Rolfe shot him three times during a bungled arrest in Uindumu, northwest of Alice Springs on November 9th, 2019. Elder Ned Jaminjimpa Hargraves says the court system that found Constable Rolfe not guilty of the 19-year-old's murder failed to deliver justice for the Walpiri community. People are very, very angry. They are not satisfied with what happened in Darwin, he said on Tuesday in a reference to the five-week jury trial. That's the question they are asking today. How come he was acquitted? Asked if Ewan Dumu could finish its grieving for Mr. Walker, known as Sorry Business, without traditional justice, Mr. Hargraves said, no, no. Deep in the hearts, deep in our minds, deep in the community, we want to see justice, he said. We have not seen the blood of Zachary Rolfe. That tells us this is not the way it should have been. It tells us we have been disrespected. We as a community stand and fight for justice. Asked how the community felt about Constable Rolf appearing as a witness at the inquest on Wednesday, Mr Hargrave said it is disgusting, so disgusting. We as a community are thinking how come Constable Rolf is still in a job, how come he is still in Northern Territory, he said. His comments were made as the inquest into Mr Walker's death conducted in formal sittings in Uindumu for Coroner Elizabeth Armitage to hear from community members. The two-way visit started on Monday with a tour of House 511, now known as Memory House, where Constable Rolf shot Mr Walker in the back and torso as he resisted arrest. It was followed by a truth-telling session and a tour on Tuesday of other sites around the town that are relevant to the inquest. Judge Armitage also took part in so-called Yarning Circle, where members of the community told the coroner that the Constable Rolf should have, at the very least, lost his job as a policeman after killing Mr Walker. The group also expressed its disappointment and frustration with the conduct of the officer's trial, saying Justice John Burns was not neutral. It said he had not adequately reprimanded Constable Rolf's father, Richard Rolf, after a witness called him out over alleged imitation in the court toilet. Some community members also questioned by the jurors were non-Indigenous. The group also explained cultural payback or traditional justice, which can include spearing an offender, saying it is an organised cultural ceremony for the community to witness and not carried out in haste. Mr Walker's cousin, Samara Fernandez Brown, told the coroner the community had been frustrated to hear police officers tell the inquest they feared payback over the teen's death in the hours after Constable Rolf shot him. The group also called for Northern Territory and federal governments to recognise Wilpiri Community's cultural authority in Uindumu, which the group said had been lost during the Howard's government's intervention. 
It said health, education and service provision should be community controlled to better service residents needs and provide them jobs. A community member also questioned the coroner about the inquest's eventual recommendations and whether they are enforceable. Council assisting Peggy Dwyer said they were not that the charge would take time. The coroner had planned to start the inquest with a visit to Uendumu in early September but it was scrapped after some of the community objected. More than two months on, her presence and that of the legal parties, including Constable Ralph's lawyer, Luke Officer, was welcomed. The inquest will return to Alice Springs on Wednesday. So, let me know what you guys think of that one in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.